Hello, everyone. It's Mo from Mo in the Deep End. And in, you know, sometimes karma happens to the people that it needs to happen to. Uh, Jordan Vander Sloot, or Joran, or as I like to call him, Joran Dumpster Trash Fire, seems to have ticked off the wrong person in Peruvian jail. Let's get into it. But, you know, sometimes karma and gen pop justice allegedly in Peru, should Peru actually exist, I am just kidding, um, Peru could be anywhere. I love that part of uh, as if. But let's get into the story because that's what you guys are here. I find the weird, crazy, and news of karma finding the right people every day at 7 and 7 p.m. in the evening and 9 a.m. in the morning. So please join me. We do Newsy News. We have the best, greatest chat ever, and it's news with heart, snark, and sarcasm to keep us, you know, sane during this year, 2024, the year of the clown. Anywho, so let's dive into this article. Natalie Holloway's convicted, and, you know, he confessed Unaliver Jordan Van Dumpsterfire was attacked by two men in a Peruvian jail. Let me look around here. Nope, I am fresh out of darns to give, y'all. I really am. I'm sure I could find a darn if uh, maybe one would be delivered to me, but I just, I don't, I don't feel much of nothing. Seems like karma done found someone. Natalie Holloway's unaliver Jordan Vander dumpster fire was injured in a violent brawl inside of a Peruvian prison where he is serving a 20 year or a 28 year sentence for unaliving a young Peruvian student. The 36 year old was attacked by two inmates while in the common area of the notorious uh, Chalapaca prison, where the country's most dangerous inmates are held last week. Tear. When other inmates joined the fracas, the guards stepped in and separated the men. Oh, well, now guards, I'd have given them a, a couple five minutes. I mean, it, it's like a penalty box. This is why I am not, I am not a corrections officer. This is why I give myself no authority because I I could become like, oh, I got to go take my break. It is it is mandatory that I, I they take a break right now. I'm sorry, Jordan. What are you going to do? OSHA, OSHA will, will get me. Although Vandersloot only suffered bruises and lacerations, he was checked out by medical personnel before being released back into general population. A spokesperson for Peru's National Penitentiary Institute, NPI, would not confirm specific details of the attack, but tells the Post high-profile inmates like Vander Fire are seen as vulnerable in prison. Maybe he feels just a, a hint of what he did to those two precious girls that, you know, just spurned his advances. So he had to go, you know, homicidal on them. Maybe he feels a little of the vulnerability that he made others in his life feel. I'm finding karma to be okay with this one. The spokesperson also confirmed that he will not face any disciplinary action as he did not instigate the fight. Dutch national Jordan Vander Dumpster Fire is in prison for the unaliving of his ex-girlfriend, business student Stephanie Flores Ramirez, 21, in 2010. It is unclear if the men attacked Vandersloot because of a jailhouse beef or because his victim was the daughter of Ricardo Flores, a popular entertainment impresario and former president of the Peruvian Auto Club. A lot of people want him not alive, admitted an MPI official. Those who have found themselves in lockup with Vander Fire says he bullies other inmates and often instigates arguments and fights. This is from someone else. This is not from me, YouTube, so don't take these words against me. Quote, arrogant, cocky, just a total douchebag, end quote. 
says Emil Quintanillas and Emil. I think I might make a t-shirt with Jordan douche faces face on it and your quote, because it about sums up the totality of this, of his spirit animal, really in a short sentence who served time with Vander Dumpster Fire when he was extradited to the U.S. to face extortion charges related to Holloway's family or to the Holloway family last year. Quote, he walks around jail like he's the boss, demands what he wants, treats other guys like ish. He made a lot of enemies because he's such an a-hole. End quote. He's always been combative, adds his childhood friend, Cass um, Arendez, I'm sure I didn't spell, didn't pronounce that right. He has no trouble spouting off and getting in someone's face. He's just an aggressive person, always has been. He can hold his own. Now, maybe Peru allows the use of shock collars. I mean, I'm not telling you how to run your jails, but I think a little bit of um, ed enhanced the cognitive behavioral therapy might work well for this gentleman, as long as I get to hold the remote control. Or, the, or, or Natalie's mom gets to hold the remote control. After transferring to the notoriously overcrowded uh, Chalapa, Chalapaca in a remote area of the Andes, Van der Sloot somehow got a bunk while other new prisoners were sleeping on a mattress on the floor. He's connected, says the prison administrator, adding officials don't get involved in bunk selection unless violent erupt, or violence erupts. Vandersloot was just 17 in 2015 when Holloway, then 18, vanished while on a class trip to the island of Aruba. In 2023, he finally confessed to his mur or her murder as part of a plea deal in his extortion case. He has not been charged with her unaliving because the statute of limitations on Aruba is 12 years. The last person to see Holloway alive... Vandersloot often gave conflicting stories about her disappearance. In 2010s, he sent emails to John Q. Kelly, an attorney for the Holloway family. In the emails previously obtained by the Post, he demanded $250,000 in return for information about Natalie's death and disappearance. Sir, now, even at this, the world's worst Christian, I believe that everyone can come to redemption, but sir... You have a lot of redemptioning to do. You have a lot of atonement to do because right now your, your current, your current spirit animal is, is that if you've ever, if you have children and they are not supposed to take cups out of the dishwasher or out of the kitchen, they're not supposed to eat outside the kitchen, but they still do. And you find that mystery cup that's growing like a layer of science experiment on top of it, sir. You are that gross, corroded cup that we just pitch instead of trying to work on it. Because, look, Jesus believes in you, but he's about the only one that does. Okay, sir? I'm just throwing that one out there. In the 2010 emails, Van der Sloot said he was undergoing intensive treatment for sociopathic tendencies at the insistence of his father, the family gave Vandersloot a $25,000 down payment. In return, Vandersloot gave them false information about the whereabouts of Natalie's body, which has never been recovered. With that money he received in 2010, Vander Fire went to Lima, Peru, when 21-year-old business student Stephanie Flores Ramirez confronted him about his involvement in the Holloway case. He laid hands on her, gave her a neck hug, and put a pillow over her mouth until she passed away. In 2021, he was convicted of selling not-street-legal not pharmaceuticals in prison, and another 18 years were added to his sentence. He is sentenced for lease in 2045 due to a Peruvian law prohibiting prison sentences from exceeding 35 years if the prisoner has not been sentenced to life. If Vandersloo gets out early, which is unlikely, he will be returned to the U.S. to serve the balance of the 20-year sentence for extorting Holloway's family. An attorney for Vandersloo did not return the Post's request for comment. Quote, 
I don't think he'll ever get out alive, says Quintanillas. All he knows is prison. I think he likes it. I think he'll either reoffend to stay in jail or he'll be um, shuffled off this mortal coil with assistance by another inmate. I don't even know if he cares one way or another. And all I have to really say for this is, you know, if he felt one tenth of how powerless, hopeless, and and scared that those women and those families have had to feel and live with for this past, you know, 10 and, you know, since 2005, then, then sir, I, I think karma is coming to get you and you have a mighty big balance. I don't know if you have it within you to change. I, I wish you do, but, um, sir, Jesus loves you. Everyone else thinks you're a dick. That's about all I have to say about that one. I'm, I am, well, just hoping that the other prisoners don't get in too much trouble for public service, allegedly in Minecraft. Any whoozle, I will see you guys later. And I am working on so much stuff that is new. Uh, I've got all the ideas and I am finally uh, getting to the point where I can make some things happen. So I hope you stick with me as I work on improving the channel and like and subscribe if you did like it and have a wonderful day. You know, say something nice to yourself. Make a goal to say a couple nice things to other people. You know, there is nothing nicer than seeing people's faces light up when you say, hey, I love your shoes or your t-shirt is the best. Um, it's hard for me to people. I'm an introvert and I've found that giving compliments is one of the best ways to maybe people better. That is my goal this year. So, you know, if that is your goal, that is my advice and have a wonderful day. I will see you guys in a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this story and you know, all the fun YouTube things. Have a wonderful day guys.